This all started with a vision. I've been reading a lot about seeds lately. The seeds that we take in from every experience. And I feel like those seeds, the more we water them, they're going to grow in different ways. Not just here, but it could be on the other side of the planet. To go to New York takes time. From mind, goes there right away. Mind's that fast. That's why prayer is a very powerful. So here I am. I'm very grateful. I feel like I've seen the other side of hell and have come back uh, traumatized, scarred, uh, but still with hope. So, you know, I think that's really the, the bottom line for a, of a lot of kinds of prayer. You just, you have to have hope, you have to have faith, you have to have belief in yourself, and mostly that there's a there's an energy, an entity, whatever your tradition may be, who's watching out for you. My mom used to go to church. We would always go to church when nobody was there. We'd go in there and light millions of candles for everybody that died or had problems in the family and sit down and pray. And I'd be always really quiet and there was this light scent of frankincense in the church. And I would say, Mom, why don't we come when they have like a celebration here and she says it's too noisy it's so hard to pray when everybody's talking mm -hmm. so for me prayer is that place of devotion and many times it doesn't have a voice it doesn't even have um, anything it's just being in that place in 2008 early one morning I woke up and I heard the words how do you pray with a chant that includes most of the traditions, not all of them, but most of them, just to honor the fact that this book really covers so much breath. such a wonderful time to honor you, Celeste, for following your vision. I think I remember one Sunday morning, it just came through me and I knew this was right. Because I didn't have to edit. You don't have to edit a prayer, right? There was no editing. <laughs> we celebrated our third anniversary in the intensive care unit in January of this year. Um, it's been a long road these last 44 days. I wasn't sure I had it in me. And you, you go from thoughts of gratitude to suicide in, within moments. But for your prayers, your heart, and your heart's your soul, you're going to make it. Open your mouth and let it loose. <laughs> you can also think of it like an imprint on your consciousness. And the more that you feed that prayer, the more that imprint grows. And the time has come, hallelujah, to spread the love heart to heart.